Hi all, this is in a way a special video for me where finally I managed to acquire the four major Arcos of two OG Bas Arco and the two Paragon Zarco finally and haven't seen online any video incorporating these four pens together and so decided to have a short review going through the packaging a quick video i hope and go through the packaging and also through the different design and parts of these pens and then at the end of the video i will try to do a writing sample of at least two of the pens so we start with the first pen the ogiva arco from the Amaz Vintage Edition of 2013. So the outer box has this like recycled type of cardboard. Nice packing. On the outside you have the label and the handwritten and the edition number of the pen. They were I can confirm of these. On the inside you'd find the steady Omax box, shiny silver. And black on the other side. Omar's handcrafted in Italy since 1925. And on the back of this like, box inside, there will be this velvety inlay, Italian creativity, history, craftsmanship, the pleasure of writing. Then you'd find the uh, Omar's like suede velvety gray sleeve and the pen inside which we'll go through later you have a bottle of ink in this case it is brown ink even though there is the this, at first I thought it is blue but it is brown ink you may use a small flap to try and it's quite hard to take up the inner part and flip over where you have place for one pen and as you may see they remove the part for the bottle but on the inside in this case i was lucky i bought this pen from st john pens lately from john Voyer. thank you very much i also found the original plastic sleeve the signature the nib size which was medium and the number of the limited edition pen together with the description of the Pen of G Vintage Edition 2013. Then you'd have the history and also somewhere inside, yes, the number of the pen. And here is the Omas card. Congratulating for, for the purchase, etc. And the and signed empty paper. Got the next box, it's practically the same like the other, so I will not go into much detail. This is the Arco Paragon, part of the Italian, of the Arte Italiana vintage edition. The box is slightly different because it is not that like textured from box like the Ogiva. It's a black outer box. There is also one with find the label of the pen. Then you have the same box. The steady silver cover and the writing inside. You'd have the guarantees and uh, booklet inside underneath too. I'm not stating all that. Same velvet suede on cover the pen in this case is the silver trim these were limited to 80 pens in each trim there were two trims the yellow gold the silver high-tech trim and the titanium trim and the bottle of ink next we've got the unboxing of the Mas Paragon and Arco Bronze. This actual pen was a pen from the 90s. Yeah. Um, 
box. In this case, was a shiny type of cardboard. Here you have the um, celluloid Paragon fountain pen, the nib, broad, Marco, etc. And sheet from Germany. And then you've got the handcrafted in Italy since 1925 writing on the inside of the pen. And here you had a leather back sleeve and the pen itself. The inner part could be taken out and underneath you would find the booklets, guarantees and the information. Next unboxing is of the Omas Ojiva in the Arco Verde celluloid. I bought this box separately because the gold trim Omas Ojiva Arco Verdes were never launched or put in the market when there was Omas still in operation until 2015. But when the uh, Manuel Cartageron and his group bought the remaining stock and pens. These gold trims were, as is, at least this particular pen and others, quite a few others, and there's also the inventory of them, were there ready for future sale. They actually then put on this gold nib to it. The silver trim, though, right in T36, were launched I think it's 2012 or 2013 um, as part of the Novelli celluloid set. Finally, we've got the four pens lined up next to each other. We'll start with the Ogiva and the Acobron celluloid. Now, this pen I acquired from St. John Pens, I told you, from John Fire lately. Very nice service. I was lucky to find uh, sort of collector's item. It was complete store packaging, papers, etc. This was part of the Omas um, Vintage Limited Edition. Initially, um, this limited edition started in 2011, but 2013 they made the um, celluloid, collection of celluloid, where, whereby they made the Ogiva in Arco bronze and the Ogi with gold trim and the Ogiva in green soft celluloid. So, two of them. As I said before, this pen was limited to 527 pens. It's not easy, but I'll try to get out the shine. Easy to get out. Look at the different shine of the celluloid in different angles against light. You can see the layering at the side of the celluloid. This pen had the Greek team on the main cab band, another gold ring, a gold ring in the piston, knob, then one would find the numbering of the pen, as you may see, part of number of five to seven. Another Greek band team next to the nib and the smaller circular gold band. This has an 18 karat gold nib on it with the modernized, then vintage doe style look um, arrow keys on the Omas nib. You could choose between an 18 karat gold nib or you could go from extra fine up to the stub size or the 14 karat gold extra flexible model where you go up to the medium size in that case. This is the 18 karat gold. For me having a medium sized hand this is a perfect size. It can be posted I prefer not posting my pens, it is a bit too big to be posted. It's The weight is relatively light even with the cap, so it's not a matter of um, weight, back flipping, but it's my preference and I don't like 
the pork celluloids as much as possible not to damage the pans. Piston filler, fairly good capacity and later we see the writing sample with this pen. As you may see there are threads in the middle part of the section, they are not sharp at all and I like to grip my pens from the upper part of the section and exactly on the threads in this case and I don't realize that there are threads. They actually help me in that my fingers don't slip, but it is very comfortable. So next up we've got the Ogiva and Arco per the celluloid with gold trim. And as I told you before, briefly, the only official Ogiva and Arco were the produced and directly on the market by the Omas company prior to 2015 was the Novelli, part of the Novelli collection, whereby they had a high tech trim. I think they were 30 or 36, I don't know, pens of those. These pens, this is one of them. Uh, for, I bought this from Sarge Minhas. He had bought, got this from um, another Caracter Girone group, the group that took over the mass stock and remaining pens and materials in 2015. And when I investigated later, because I've been re reading so many articles, um, uh, I became obsessed, to tell the truth, because there are hearsay tales of people making up pens, uh, managing names, or putting up the parts together, or producing the barrels, etc. No, there were not one or two, but a number of Ojifa and Arco Green readily found produced at a mask with the gold trim ready. They just then added the nib to it, which is the same pattern as the Ojiva Arco colored celestial with the with the arrow team. It is in all exact weight, etc. design like the 2013 model, but these are not numbered, but are Omas products. Obviously then put on the market subsequent to the Lumis because they hadn't put them yet. I'm not saying there aren't, there aren't pens that were made by some artisan or parts of them, but there are several pens like this that are originally Omas. So it's always difficult to get out the beauty of the Sarcover the celluloid and artificial light. The sunlight is much better. Let's see how it shines according to the different angle at which light hits the pen. Beautiful. So following the two Ogivas, we've got the Amas Perdon and the Arco Bronze Celluloid, probably the iconic Amas pen per excellence, you know, the both in design and the material. This is from the um, late 90s and I'll tell you why, because Behind the cap, I hope I can get this, yes, and there you see that, there is written Omas Italy, not Omas Extra, so in the beginning of the 90s they would write Omas Extra, then they went on to Omas Italy. The finial is slightly pointed, 12 side, 12 side faceted pen, okay, the difference shine again. And layers of cellulite. According to the direction of lighting, you put it in. Again, the Greek Greek band, uh, the Greek band, gold band, with two rings this time, not one ring like the Ojiva. Another gold ring with the piston. This is nothing, so I can turn the piston up. And this is the to two tone Omas. Nib. In this case, you've got a broad nib, 18 karat gold broad nib. It flares slightly next to the nib. Again, the threads are practically the same position. Let me try and get this out, show them next to each other. So, as you may see, the threads 
affecting the same section. We've got no flare up here next to the ogiva, but you I'll try to line it up because I hate this. Mm -hmm. Good. But you have a flare up next to the end of the pergam. Threads are not sharp at all. There is a st slight step up then to the pergam. And you've got the piston. Now, these are you know the traditional nuisance that some find with the Omas uh, pistons. Quite hard. You may hear the squeaky noise. It is much then smoother on the Ojiva Arco. Finally, we've got the Omas Paragon, the Arco Verde celluloid, and the high tech trim, the silver trim. These pens were again produced in somewhere around 2013, and Omas produced 80 in high tech trim, silver trim, 80 in um, yellow gold trim and 18 ruthenium trim. Again, the numbering is very difficult to see in the back of the cap. You may see the Omas Italy imprint at the back. These were practically identical to the Omas Paragon of the 90s, and as you may see, the shimmering of light on these arcos is something beyond imagination. In the sunlight, they even pop up much more. They're like sh um, silvery parts shining in the celluloid itself. So, in this case, like in the arco, you have the two in the paragon arco bronze, you've got the two plain silver rings, then you've got the Greek team, I've got another silver ring next to the piston, this is ink, so I have to be careful, and then you've got the flare up here, the shallow threads, and the small step up, and again like in the case of the but in the same period produced of the Arco bronze collection jewelry, there you've got the arrow team in that 18 karat gold, extra fine in this case. We'll do a quick size comparison. First, we've got the Mont Blanc 149. Then I chose to get the Lamy 2000 for you. So, as you may see, the length of the paragons is practically identical to the Lamy. The paragons are red geared here, and the Ojiva are slightly longer than the 149. Obviously, slimmer though in get. We started the first writing sample using Tomol River paper. So, we have the Omas Ojiva. In the Arco bronze, this part of the vintage edition, the nib is an 18 karat gold medium, very nice, very responsive ink is. Diamine sepia. Finally, we've got the Omas Paragon in Arco Verde. So, Omas Paragon Arco Verde. The nib is an 18 carat extra fine yeah. the ink is the mass green 
very nice there is some flex to it very nice responsive hope you enjoyed this video thanks all see you next time